not related to the topic of this video but uh, there is a mod that I'm using and I was talking about it uh, for a long time like a year somewhat and it got upgraded but I just like figured out how to build mods by myself so I just downloaded this mod and made it for my own liking and right now the sliding makes me like slow down a bit like here you see I, I'm like slowing down a bit it's not perfect but sometimes when I just like start sliding I'm slower as, as shown now that's cool and another good feature is um, I'm looking for a zipline to show you I mean it's not a feature of this mod but I just like made it myself there is like a param it, it's called like that and you can change the zipline speed where why the hell are there zero ziplines right now like when I usually play there are ziplines everywhere oh yeah here's one okay and it all oh my god sorry for that voice crack <laughs> it only works going uh, down it, it doesn't work going the uh, opposite way which is up <laughs> I had to say it so you don't think that I'm stupid or something but look at that look how fast I'm going like this is way faster than this this is the usual speed it's just like <laughs> slow as fuck but right now sorry um, imagine if I was like let me just create more line okay so like go here go here bump you and like go here and look how fast I go and I can continue the flow and I didn't mean to rhyme it but the flow is like way better with the faster zip lines and what I also changed is like um, the uh, height on which I can actually catch the ledge like you see you, you could normally catch this ledge right here uh, and just climb but with my mod I'm like oh my god <laughs> sorry uh, unprofessional gameplay oh you see like I'm stumbling way, mo way more much and I actually had to have to calculate my jumps because if I jump there I'm falling so I have to be like more methodic about it and actually think through my course but then don't just jump and think like oh wait then we'll catch like this is way better style of gameplay where you actually have to think everything through like Aiden is slower but at the same time faster in certain spots that make him overall fast like I run slower but the zip lines are faster and because I run slower zip lines actually make me feel faster too that's why I'm gonna just like abuse them to be faster like that's something that should be in the game the start and I'm probably gonna cut this section into the beginning so you can actually see this rather than this far in the video because that's something important on the tanky here because like usually Aiden just like reach his max speed at like one second but with this mod and with my customized params I actually have to like gain speed and Aiden is still runs slower but at the same time when I perform actions like here monkey jumping like here ladder boom boom oh okay <laughs> that was weird like if I perform actions I'm actually faster 
and especially with the zip lines, especially with everything else. That's why this mod is awesome. And I could send it you, to you my customized mod, but I don't think it's legal because it's like it's not my work in like 100%. Maybe if like I get in contact with the mod creator or something and tell him that yeah I made it customized to my own liking and can I put it on my YouTube channel or something. Because I noticed that he actually watched my video about the mod and other videos. So I'm actually like honored. Because this mod is like the best mod. I, I saw other modders try to top that and I tried other parkour mods recently especially. I was just like trying to find the perfect par parkour mode and try to like modify the params and everything but honestly the dying edge is just like the best parkour mode out there so shout out to Spitfire and I don't remember if he's called the same on YouTube but if you if you see him on the comment section just like thank him or something because <laughs> He's the main reason of why I'm like still making videos about parkour or something. Because I just like enjoy the mod. Because without this mod, I actually can't play. Like my brain works on different waves or something. And I literally just can't play on vanilla dying light. Oh, and I'm sliding. And you see how it slows me down. So I actually can't just like slide forever. I just have to use slide in certain spots, like here, like be fast overall, and be fast not because the game is fast, but be fast because I'm skilled in the game. Oh, and that's something again, that when I turn me there, I still get the momentum. That was cool, actually. But yeah, I, I don't stop me there, I still get the momentum and uh, with this mod I actually can like roll from much uh, lower heights. Because usually in vanilla game, you could roll while jumping from here, like this spot to the ground, you could roll. But right now with this mod, I can just like jump from here. And still low. That's something that other people I saw in the comment section actually liked and wanted it into the game. Where you could just like roll endlessly. <laughs> so yeah, that's like the first part. But yeah, now to the second part. Hi guys, in a weekly episode of me yapping in Dying Light 2 <laughs> Today I'm gonna play either some more community maps or sparkle to the city I don't know if, if I should make it weekly Like, maybe I'll continue it if it like blows up or something This last one got like 250 views or something And like I wanted to talk about like <laughs> my job and college, mainly about college and probably made a video about it but I don't remember so I'm gonna just like put it here for like no apparent reason and just elaborate on it like much more. So today's map is holy something, holy shot or holy shells and I'm gonna just shoot some zombies and this map reminds me of one map in uh, Midnight uh, Night Express where you had to shoot zombies in a graveyard which is cool <coughs> sorry which is cool 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 this is more like painkiller map 
I think. I loved Painkiller. I still, I still aiming with the right button. That's why sometimes you might see me like hiding behind my gun. But yeah, I've been going to work for the past like two months. Uh, ah, not two months. Sorry, that's like way too much. Two weeks, I meant. Like I worked there for like two weeks now, and a couple days, like three. And honestly, <laughs> I don't want to work there anymore. <laughs> I probably said that in the previous episode, but it reminds me of a TV show called Prison Break, where Michael Schofield, the main character, was like imprisoned to help his brother. And in the first season, they had blue shirts and like the entire color palette was blue and that's exactly my first job that I was working way way behind like in the previous year for like three months or so and right now I'm in like season three where they go to spoiler a route uh, they go to Panama and to the jail there which is like way more hardcore than the one in the America and that's how I feel <laughs> right now <laughs> like everything is orange, yellow, like dirty and just like there's like no law and the boss is on vacation so that only amplifies the entire thing <laughs> but yeah I feel like I'm Michael Schofield in Panama right now but the season 3 was shorter than season 1 so I'm just gonna work here for like one month only. I mean like two weeks or three to go rather than entire three months or something. Like I said fuck it. And that's why I wanted to talk about college because I say fuck it because I'm going to college again. I mean again as I'm saying that again, not that I got kicked out or something. <laughs> Don't worry. But like I think personally that college is a good thing like there is this misconception of modern world like you gotta hustle why are you going to college and like maybe going to college is not meant for you to actually like make a lot of money but it's made for you to actually enjoy your job where you actually find your job fulfilling and you are happy while doing it rather than feeling like you are in Panama and trust me this season 3 is hardcore I mean honestly personally I wish it was more hardcore than it is but it's still way worse prison than the one in America I don't remember how it was called I was watching this show like a long time ago <laughs> but yeah the college is for you to enjoy your job and maybe you have to go to these like three years and honestly if you if your parents help you then you have the easier uh, way to obtain this degree but if you have to go into depth then the hard stuff starts because going into depth is something that I do not advise like at all like, you should actually spend some time in prison <laughs> or in hell and back, <laughs> if you prefer. You should actually spend some time there and grind your money however you want, like in this hell or maybe even like hustling on your side job or something. And then try to go to college with some capital and with some cash in your bank account rather than just throwing yourself saying that my 20s would be the best years of my life and then you, you're making memes about how like you're sad, you're in debt or something wow this wave is nice everything's exploding, whatever um, about talking about how you're sad and everything is like <laughs> exploding in your face 
And I do not wish that to you. And I do not wish that to anyone. But some, somehow people in their 20s still do that. Like, I can't get the idea that you urgently need the money. But at the same time, why are you spending the money that you earn with the hard work? And you spend it, like, actually carelessly on the college on the degree that you probably are not even interested in and you're thinking like yeah this is gonna pay out one day like probably not probably it won't pay out but at the same time if you're actually passionate about some subject or degree and you think that this is like your entire life and your purpose because you know purpose in modern days is like so important you you have you have to have your purpose you have to do some things that you are glad or about or something like yes it is important because no one wants to like live in hell or something but at the same time your purpose might be just literally playing video games because you're just living your life on your own and if you want to play video games and just like go to job that you like because if you if you don't like your job and you're playing video games to cope that's not healthy and after like for me it was three months <laughs> for you it, it might be years but for me it, after like one month, I, ju I just felt like, I, I mean, my previous job, after one month, I just felt like this shit's not for me. And right now that I just have to work, I'm literally forced because, like, I, I didn't have money. Like, right now, after my first paycheck, it, it wasn't large, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not, like, hustling or something. Sorry. But it's like, <laughs> I, I can actually afford to eat, finally. <laughs> but yeah, um, you should try to make your purpose what you want as your purpose. Because nowadays it's like gym is everyone's purpose. And it's okay, because you know, bodybuilding might be your purpose. But if sometimes I see bodybuilders and I ask myself, or sometimes even at, at my workplace, but like, uh, I, I notice that someone works out or like plays basketball or something. I ask them if, if they want to continue it, like if they're playing it just for fun or are they playing it to just like, you know, blow off some steam or something. And I do not mean that I have to tell everyone what they should do. <laughs> Bitch. It's more like I try to help them find what they really want. I mean, they might have actually found it, but there is a saying that if you're good at something, try to make money off of it. And if you're not making money off of it, maybe you're not good enough. I mean, that does that. That second part is something I told myself. Just like this is not in the saying. <laughs> but 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 I think you should actually try to make money from what you are good at. And even if it's little money, like even if it's like three hundred dollars, that still helps you a lot. Not only financially, but mentally. That hey, I'm capable of making money off of something that I'm passionate about. And you might not, not know that about how much this is powerful, but this really is powerful. Just reinforce your thought that you actually are <laughs> worthy of something. Especially nowadays where everyone is like depressed or something.
and sometimes I just ask them and they like, no, I, I just do it. Like they don't even, I don't know if they even want to do it, but they just do it because, uh, because either, I don't know, their brother or something plays and they just want to spend time with their brother. And that might be your purpose. That might be your purpose, to just spend time with your family and close ones. But honestly, try to um, make yourself comfortable in this world too. Like, you can't spend... Maybe it's selfish, but you can't spend all the time with your friends and family. Sometimes you just have to focus on yourself. Not in the sick way, where you cut off everyone and just... Uh, try to cope with the thought that hey I'm grinding I'm, I'm like self-improving while you are literally sitting in one spot because you know you, you might get more muscles but if you're mentally not strong enough you, you're gonna lose them anyway probably <laughs> because it's all in the ment oh my god sorry 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 um it's all in the mentality. Like, you can't be happy in the body you have and improve it for the sakes of being better rather than improving it because you hate your body or something or improving it because you're not strong enough. Like, there is a possibility you are not strong enough because you don't let your mental mind be strong enough. Like, sometimes I honestly can do like 10 push-ups because I'm <laughs> weak-minded at that day or something and on the next day after those 10 push-ups I can suddenly do 40 because of mentality. I mean 40 in a row, not like <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> but, but, but like 40 throughout in a row. So mentality plays a massive role not only in bodybuilding but in your perception of the world and if you let your mentality be ruined by modernity and saying that college is bad like way back in time I know that this is old meta or something as <laughs> Hamza says or other internet people like college is bad it's it's like uh, old and all and like oh you are a boomer if you go there or something whatever but honestly it's not that way you can just go to college and still make enough money for you to live a decent life like a very decent life and honestly it's all up to you because you can finish certain study and actually hustle in this department in this like niche or something where you don't have to actually go to Hustlers <laughs> University and fuck bitches and make money off of like um, gambling or something like this is not the only way and it all depends about on how much money you want to actually make wow this is so painkiller like but if you, if you don't need money, like, there is a mark of like, Oh, I need 10k to be financially free. No, you don't. All you need is, like, free mind. And honestly, with no, today's prices, you don't need 10k. Like, yeah, 10k is nice. But 7k is enough. I mean, like, more than enough. And 5k is enough. Like, not in the sense of like um, dollars or something, <laughs> especially if you live in Venezuela, then it's it's worse <laughs> there. But I'm talking to like, if you're just, just a normal kid in like normal country that is actually functioning properly, rather than like, as I said, Venezuela or something, right? I mean, even in Russia, there are some problems, especially nowadays, but I... <laughs> I don't know if this video gonna get banned if I even mention this this country. 
hope not. <laughs> oh, this is new. Like, he sends, like, shockwave. This is new. I haven't seen this one. But yeah, if, if you like living in a normal country, then literally you don't need this, like, 10k a month uh, status or something. Like, you don't need any of this bullshit. Like, honestly. And, like, people will tell you that, oh, he, he's talking heresy. You, you, you need those 10k, because right now it's like, <laughs> if I'm ruining everyone's self-improvement journey to reach 10k, I mean, you just go for it, you know? But you don't need those 10k. And especially with the generational wealth. Like, even... Jackie Chan told that he's not gonna give his uh, kids money. Because why should you? Like, I don't say that you shouldn't, like, inspire them or give them some money to actually, like, live and help them financially. What the fuck is with my burping today? Sorry. But yeah, uh. Even Jackie Chan told that he's not gonna give money, but he's probably gonna help his kids. Like, he's not gonna tell them, like, oh, you're 18, get out of my house. Like, <laughs> that's not the case, probably, and I hope it's not. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe now I have to go. Purify my weapons from sins. But yeah, the generational wealth is like bullshit, in my opinion. Like, you shouldn't just like make enough money so your kids don't have to work. Because you don't know your kids yet. You don't know if they're gonna be like you. Or they are like more focused, more calculated. They might be just like angry, aggressive and spend it all on bitches or something. Like, you don't know that. You can't play the uh, uh, gambling game of like <laughs> trying to actually guess it how your kid's gonna be like, but you can't. No, nobody can. Even even your parents couldn't know how you turned out. Maybe they were thinking like, oh, my my kid is gonna be a doctor. He's gonna go to college and he's gonna be a renowned doctor. And right now you're like sitting and playing game and putting my, me on my on your uh, second monitor or something. <laughs> like, what is going on with our lives? <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking about it lately. Like, what am I doing? Like, at the time I didn't have uh, a job. It was like I, I couldn't afford like a simple chocolate bar. I mean, not like I couldn't, I couldn't, because I had some money, but like the money I could spend on chocolate bars could be go into something else that is like more important, you know, and that's how I was spending my money. And right now it, it, it doesn't matter anymore, because as I said, I, I can finally afford to eat like a normal human being. <laughs> So I'm glad that I, uh, I actually found this job, but at the same time I hate it. I hate it like, the first day I was there. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you have to push. There is like another saying like, if you're going to hell... What was the second part? Uh, I could just like go through it. <laughs> oh my god, I butchered it. Yeah, if you're going to, to hell, keep going. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, just keep going to hell. <laughs> Sorry for that. Mm. But yeah, especially it applies to the college. If you have, if you struggle in college and everything, you still have like, it's like you can pass the class uh, on like, a bad grades or something and you fix them in the next year or like just be bad at it but still get the paper somehow 
I mean, if you if you actually go to college, at least think about it in a way where you actually are passionate about the grade rather than just going to college because because then you you won't enjoy it that much, and that's like approved information from like I don't know two hundred thousand students all over the world probably <laughs> daily. <laughs> Something like that. I think I finished this map. But I don't know where to actually go. Is there? Yeah, there. Oh, sorry. But yeah, you should go to college and... I mean, not like should, should. Because you should think up actually about it if you want to go. And if you want to go, just go for it. And don't get in debt. And... If you don't want to get in debt, <laughs> get a job, that's like a normal advice. And like getting a job doesn't necessarily mean that you have to like uh, work in a warehouse or something. You can actually get a job in like a decent department, like in some office or something where you just go there and talk shit about other co-workers throughout the entire day. and that's your day or something that might be cool <laughs> I mean not the talking part because uh, I usually don't like to gossip but you know for, for you it might be okay <laughs> to just like go somewhere and just literally do nothing <laughs> where did my weapons go Yeah, this time with this episode, there is like much more gameplay because in the previous one I had to like pause and all, <laughs> but right now I'm just like, I'm just chilling, <laughs> so to say. This guy's nice, but it's behind paywall, tech land. Thank you, I guess. It could have been added in this like DLC with Toga and Fatim, but whatever, let's put it behind paywall like Techland please change it <laughs> I can afford food yes but I can't afford all your DLCs deals, deals. like what the hell <laughs> if we're not talking I'm, I'm like focus actually to try not to die because I hate crossbows in this game like aiming with this is shit the entire screen shakes and I just I just can't aim it deals literally zero damage Did I like craft something Probably not. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Mm. Just die already. Okay, you died. Mm. I wasn't playing this game for a long time. I mean, like a week. <laughs> But even a week ago, I was only playing these like uh, community maps rather than actually playing the game. So, <laughs> sorry if I'm like rusty or something, and I'm probably gonna die. But usually, when I play this game, I don't fight. I'm usually just parkouring to the city. That's my favorite activity of the day. <laughs> Because like, as I said in previous video, <laughs> the combat isn't as good as I... I'm dead, probably. I'm dead. Yeah. So as I said, the game is not as good... I mean, not the game, like... The combat is not as good as I thought it would be. And I'm mad about it. Whatever, just go watch the previous video. <laughs> I'm not gonna like, 
tell it to you or something. What am I supposed to do here again? Not doing it again. Oh uh, yeah, cool map. Holy, holy. Um, holy bullets. Yeah. Cool map. I'm probably gonna just end the video right now <laughs> because I don't have anything else to say. And this video is long as hell anyway. So, I guess see ya. And I guess see ya in good health and in good mental position. Where you don't actually <laughs> want to, you know, end things or something. And you are happy with your life. Because as I said, even if you're sad that, I don't know, your friends or your co-workers hustle and get money just remember that you're going you're through your own path in life and you might not have the same amount of money but trust me in life you will have enough amount of money at some point of course not like <laughs> right now but at some point so see ya